Hi everyone, Mike DeForge, Ventura County Fire Department, Public Information Officer. I'm coming to you guys today because I want to share with you a tutorial on how to best use PulsePoint. Now PulsePoint is a third party application that the fire department subscribes to in order to provide the citizens of Ventura County with the most accurate and up-to-date information about the emergencies going on around us. So while it's not a new application, it's been around since 2015, there have been new features added to it. And so I'd like to take some time today to explain those to you. The first step is to download the Pulse Point application. It's a web-based application, so it downloads pretty quick. You're gonna to wanna to allow notifications. The reason for this is because the intent of Pulse Point is to alert individuals nearby a cardiac arrest so that they can provide CPR or find an AED to provide care. After you do that, you're gonna select Get Started, Agree to Terms of Service, and Continue. CPR alerts enabled if you choose to help render CPR, Continue. Community Awareness, Continue. You wanna follow Ventura County Regional Dispatch, and then Finish. Now we're at the main page. There's going to be two bars, the active bar and the recent bar. The active calls are the calls that are still currently going on. You'll receive three different types of information there. You'll receive the call type, the general location of the call, it won't give specifics due to patient privacy, and the units that are assigned to the call and their status. You can click on the call and you'll see a, a, the general location of the call also. Select back. The recent are all gray because all the units that are assigned to it are now available. A very powerful feature of PulsePoint that's enabled within Ventura County is the ability to listen to live radio traffic. You do that by selecting the speaker icon. The sound bars will come on indicating that you're now listening. You can also look at a generalized location by selecting the teardrop on the top right corner. You can zoom in and move around to look at the different types of calls. The larger red ones are still active calls. The smaller gray ones are now inactive calls. Select the Maltese cross at the bottom of the screen. You can add different agencies. This might be helpful if you're concerned about a family member who doesn't live in Ventura County. Select the bell icon now. This is how you set up your notifications, which is a very personal preference. At a bare minimum, you wanna select confirm vegetation fire and hazardous materials response. This is because these are the calls that are most likely to affect the public. Select the three dots on the bottom right-hand screen, and it'll take you to the More section. Here it has a CPR how-to, an AED how-to, the unit status legend, and a feedback section where you can provide information to PulsePoint. Well, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. And like always, if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to contact us on vcfd.org. Have a great day, stay safe, stay engaged.